Yes, good people, welcome back to the channel and camping with a meat manifesto. So today we're going on a, another stealth camping adventure in the VW T4. This time we're revisiting a location that I tried to stealth camp before uh, in January this year. It was a bit sketchy. I didn't really feel too safe around there, so I aborted the mission. But today we're going to give it another go and see if we can camp there for the night. So it's currently 6 p.m. Sunsets at half eight today, so we got two and a half hours to get ourselves all sorted out. I need to head over to the location, which is about a 40 minute drive away, and I also need to stop at a supermarket to get some snackages and some beverages for this evening's camp. We've arrived at Boston and we're currently in Asda car park. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop into Asda, get some munchies and some beverages, and then a stealth camp destination for tonight is about 10 minutes away. So we're, yeah, we haven't got far to go. So that's the bag of goodies sorted out for tonight. So we're gonna head on over to our camp for the night. This is the road leading up to the car park. It is horrendous. <laughs> if you're coming in a big motor home, you might want to think twice about this one. Bad enough in a little T4. Yeah, it's about a quarter of a mile of potholes and uh, just very tight little lanes. It's no worse than any other road in England at the moment. Yeah. There's the car park at the top there. Looks like there's a couple of vans and a car up there. Jeez. Oh. Well, we're getting in a bit of bush before we uh, get to the dogging area. God damn. There you go. We have arrived. When I come here last time, I parked in that far corner there, so I think we'll go with that one again today. So last time I come here, it was pitch black, but this looks like a pretty decent spot. So we've got the sun setting over the back there. We've got the River Haven just down there. It's like a tidal river, and I think the tide's out a bit at the minute. There's some cows just over the other side there. And there's a little walking trail that goes that way. There's a couple of people walking a dog. It's a pretty decent park up for the night. There's no signs anywhere. There's a camper van right the other end, so I presume they're going to be here for the night. There's a car and a little van here, and I think they're walking their dogs, but we'll see how it goes. We've parked on the end space there. I actually really need a piss, so I'm going to wait for them people over there to go out the distance. Jump into bushes, <laughs> but there's like a little memorial just over the back there, so I might go and have a, a look at that. But yeah, not a bad spot at all. And I suppose in the morning, the sun will be rising just over the back there. So that's the car park, entrance is just there. Nice sunset over the back. Right, let's go and have a little walk down here, and I need to find somewhere to go for a piss. I wonder how far you can walk up here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a pretty decent little trail. A little bit of wildlife down there. Nice views of the sunset. Sweet. Bit of history. It's a big old slab of granite. Mm -hmm. The Pilgrim Fathers. Mm. First attempt to find religious freedom across the seas. Mm. Mm. 
Right, let's go a little bit further down. There's another car that's pulled up. I really need a piss. And there's a bloke just down there walking his dog. Let's see what this contraption is. Damn, there's flies everywhere. Yeah. Okay, let's spin round. No. There's a good view of Boston in the background there. You can see the uh, the big church. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Cool, bloody hell, it's windy. So there's a, a gate there. We've still got right away, but that's as far as I'm going to go. There's a path leads all the way around there. And that river goes out to the wash, so yeah, that's about as far as I'm going to go. It looks like there's an old World War II pillbox down there. Plenty of them around here. Sweet view. Right, let's get back to the van. I've failed on my mission going for a piss and I've got a bottle in the van, so I think that'll <laughs> that'll do for today. So I've noticed there's a little story along the edge of this structure here. Horizon inspired by the significance of its sites. This structure explores themes of nautical navigation by allowing the visitor to imagine journeys into the unknown and beyond the horizon. In 1607, a group who later became known as the Pilgrims attempted to leave from nearby, leading to one of many transatlantic journeys and a complex, challenging history. Always changing and infinitely complex the structure references navigational instruments and methods used by maritime travellers for millennia, along with meteorological, solar and astronomical readings. The key destinations of their subsequent journeys are traced through time from their first point of departure. Cool. Stealth camping and learning right so while we still got a bit of daylight let me show you at the back of the van so i've got my single bed there single mattress i've got a burghouse free season sleeping bag i've got a pillow a couple of cushions i've got me bag of shopping that i'll show you shortly i've got my little kitchen area with overhead cabinets we've got lighting we've got electric and what we've got now 12.6 volts if we get cold i've got my diesel heater we've got a swivel chair in the back there got some charging leads I've got my extra light if i need it i've got my cool bag which has got a nice pack in there and then i've also got my all powers r1500 portable power station wireless charging on the top for my phones got usb sockets i've got 240 sockets but we're not going to be using them tonight so yeah let's get the the bag of shite out i'll show you what i got to eat tonight okay so there you go that's the food choices for this evening's camp they may not be the best they may be frowned upon but come on meatball sub <laughs> with marinara sauce oh yeah yeah i'm liking the look of that and it comes with a crisping sleeve. You're supposed to cook these in the microwave, but from last week's camp when I did the rustless chicken sub, you can pretty much get away with cooking them on a frying pan. I've got a ridge monkey that I do mine with. And then for dessert, we have got these Zingy two lemon cheesecake slices, which look pretty darn good. And then for a bit of snackage later on, I've got these Cadbury Dairy Milk Buttons Mint Flavour. Mm -mm. To wash that down, we've got this Asahi Alcohol Free Lager. I've been meaning to try the actual legit full fat version of it, but you know, we'll give it a go. There's four cans in there in this little fridge pack. 
Unfortunately, I've only just bought them from the supermarket, so they may be a little bit warm. So, yeah. And then for in the morning, oh, I couldn't turn that away. And you can toast or microwave these. Again, I'll probably just heat them up with the Ridge Monkey. So it's an all-day breakfast pancake stack with maple syrup style sauce. Oh, yeah. Let me in there. Three. You get a little sachet of sauce in the bottom there. And then for my morning brew, I've got a Nescafe latte. They did do a Irish one, which I meant to pick up. I picked up the wrong bloody one. Okay, so I reckon it's time to incinerate this meatball sub. Get the old gash stove out. Und the Ridge Monkey. So like the chicken sub I had last week, I should be able to heat this up on the Ridge Monkey. It does come with a crisping sleeve. It's basically just a bit of cardboard. But I think with the Ridge Monkey, it may just incinerate it. Yeah, I reckon the best plan of attack is get the four times meatballs out. In fact, spray a bit of oil first. Put a bit of heat on that. Keep it quite low. And then put the meatballs on there. They're not very big, but it'll do the job. So we'll heat them up a bit. We've got our sauce in there. That'll be fine as it is. Get rid of that. Get a plate ready. Maybe a bit more heat on that. And let the meatballs do their thing. In fact, this time I'm gonna Put the actual bread on a little bit earlier as well just to get it a bit crispy and soften it up a bit because these can be quite hard and while we're waiting for that to heat up i may as well crack open a asahi alcohol free beer oh, oh she's foamy mm. there's a car literally just pulled up next to me let's turn the meatballs around Oh. I'll keep an eye on this, I don't want to burn it. Multitasking, flip that over. But yeah. Again, as with most of the alcohol free lagers I've had lately, or beer, should I say? Can't see the light, ain't brilliant in there. That's actually got a quite convincing flavour to it. It does taste like a lager that should be about 4%, like quite a weak one. It doesn't help that it's warm, but no, that's pretty good. It goes down nice. Nice bit of fizz to it. Tastes a bit like a, an Indian beer or lager. Let's keep flipping this meat, sorry. Don't want to burn stuff. But yeah, that's not bad at all. Definitely be better if it was ice cold, but mm, not bad, not bad at all. I really want to try the, the proper version of this as well. But yeah, these alcohol free beers and lagers, they are getting pretty good now. Oh, let's get that off. And if you're out camping, you can drink drive and not get worried about getting pulled over. Sweet, right, let's keep an eye on these meatballs. Right, so I think they're incinerated. We that'll do. Let's open that summary for a little bit. It's getting a bit steamy in it. Okay, so plan of attack. We're going to go in with the meatballs. Ooh. And then splodge a load of that sauce over. Oh yeah. Not a lot of sauce. There was a lot of mayo in the last one. But this one, yeah, that should do. I've gone a bit stingy on the marinara sauce. All right, so let's give this a try then. Mmm. Mmm. That's not bad at all. Mm. I think they're pretty much the same buns that were in the chicken sub last week. They've got like a 
I think it's oregano herb to them, like an Italian bread. But it's nice and uh, nice and thick. Mm. The marinara sauce is damn good. Tomatoey, but quite vinegary and sharp. The meatballs are quite mushy. It's almost like when you have the, you know, like the free from meat, the soy meat. It's quite um, flaky, really finely diced minced beef. So, yeah, I don't know how much beef is actually in there, but they're all right. Mm. Got a nice crisp on that bread where I toasted it. But that sauce is good. I like that. Mmm. It's all heated up nice, cooked all the way through. But I'm a bit disappointed with the meatballs. They taste like almost quite flowery. Mmm. Bread good. Sauce good. Meatballs okay. Mmm. And a room temperature beer. Mm. Oh man. And the roof in the background there, well, I'm eating a, a meatball sub. Oh. The meatball sub, it was alright. Edible. I like the sauce, I like the roll. The meatballs were like I say, it was like eating like free from vegetarian faux meat, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that sauce was banging. But yeah, with the Asahi alcohol-free beer, that was a pretty decent meal. But yeah, that marinara sub was pretty darn good. That hit the spot for now. But we've got a little bit more light left, the sunset now. Just going to enjoy this for about 10 minutes, and then I'll jump in the back of the van, chill out, have some munchies, and watch a bit of YouTube. Right, we are tucking into the dairy milk buttons. I will we'll be having some of that cheesecake in a minute. Mm. But temperature wise, not too bad tonight. It's a bit chilly outside. There's a bit of a cold breeze. But um, it's supposed to be cloudy tonight, down to about eight degrees, which ain't too bad. Last week's camp, it went down to one and it was Pretty fresh in the morning. So far, I haven't put the diesel heater on. I don't think I'll need it tonight. I put the other three beers in the um, my cool bag. It's got an ice pack in it, and I've actually got a bit cold. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely better when it's colder. Well, like I say, these alcohol-free beers now, yeah, they do taste like you're yeah, drinking a proper beer. Full stealth mode now, got all the curtains shut. I've got my black blanket that I've put over the seats with the headrests up because my bulkhead curtains are pretty much see for at night. So while I've got the lights on, that'll block anybody looking in. We should be okay at the minute. And then yeah, if it gets cold in the night, I'll get that blanket over my sleeping bag. But I think I'll be all right tonight, temperature wise, not too bad. Yeah, but so far, this is a, a pretty sweet spot. The road coming up, to this as you see in the video at the start for the last I think it's quarter mile it's just big potholes and tight bends and you're trying to avoid all the trees so I don't think you'll get so much in the way of boy races but I have seen somebody else do a video here in the past and they did get some boy races see, I tried to camp here in January and I turned up at I think about nine o'clock pitch black middle of winter and it was freezing that night all that road was frosted up and they didn't you know, grit it, de-ice it. So I was a bit worried about staying here for near enough 12 hours in the pitch black. And uh, it was a bit of a one way in, one way out situation. But tonight with a bit more light, more light in the morning, we should be okay. Now this pitch is pretty decent. There's no noise here. There's another van a little bit over. There's one car still here and I think he might be car camping. So, um, Fingers crossed, we'll be okay. Have a nice stealthy camp, as long as the old Bill don't come and knock on the door and tell us to move away. So let's try this Asda Zingy Lemon Cheesecake. I'll probably only have one slice tonight and save the other half for Mrs. Meat. I think I'm gonna need a plate and a fork for this. 
because this is going to fall apart. This one definitely calls for a plate and a fork, but that looks pretty damn good. Mm. Let's try this bad boy. Mm. It's got a nice crunchy biscuity base. Mm. I like the zingy lemon top. The actual cheesecake itself is a little bit too soft for my liking. I like them a little bit thicker. No, that's not a bad cheesecake at all. The biscuit base looks a bit anemic, but it's pretty good. Mm. Some cheesecakes can taste a little bit too much creamy, in my opinion, but this is pretty damn good. I do like that zingy lemon sauce on the top. Mmm, that's good. I think the actual cheesecake itself is just like a plain vanilla cheesecake with a lemon drizzle on top. Mmm. That base gets a bit messy. I don't want to play ball. Mmm. That was damn good. Eating a bit of cheesecake, had a meatball sub, alcohol free beer, some chocolate in my stealth camper van in a random dogging spot cheers okay so i'm pretty stuffed after eating all that i'm just chilling out got my little reading light there on a <laughs> on my camera tripod just watching a bit of youtube it's about 10 p.m all's pretty quiet this week which is good i am expecting boy racers of some sort they're always about hopefully they don't get any knockers on the door from coppers or doggers i did hear a car pull up a little while ago and a horn beep twice so i don't know if that's a a bit of a shady signal but yeah we'll ignore all that but yeah after last week's stealth camp in an industrial state that was super noisy super loud lorries going past every couple of minutes so if you ain't seen that check that video out so this is at the minute bliss compared to that nice and quiet i'm gonna watch youtube for a little bit and then probably fall asleep in my sleeping bag so unless anything happens through the night i'll see you all in the morning good morning campers uh, it is half past five in the morning And I must admit, that is probably the best night's sleep I've had in a long time. I didn't hear nothing. I say I went to bed about 10 half 10. And I've just woken up. I've opened up the curtains. Look at that. It's very cloudy out there. I think it is supposed to rain this morning. That's it. Yeah, that's... Uh... Decent little view. That car there is definitely a car camp. I can see somebody moving about in the back of it. So you had to be a little bit quiet because there's a van as well. No, that was a that was a damn good night's sleep. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it weren't too cold. Even this morning, I don't think I need the heater on. I think what I'm gonna do is make myself a. A latte and I got pancakes. Oh yeah! Right, let's uh, let's start getting getting ourselves sorted out. Alright, coffee's ready, so let's get these 
Rustler pancake stacks on the go. Oh yeah. So yeah, they're all they're already cooked. Just need heating up. There we go. The maple syrup style sauce. Oh yeah. Right, let's put a bit of heat on that. You can only get two at a time in there, so I'll have to do that one last. But they shouldn't take too long. Ah, oh, these won't take long at all. Well, they smell like pancakes. God knows what's in them. Yeah. Yes, they're cooking good. But yeah, last week I had the Rustler's breakfast muffin. If you haven't seen the video, look back at last week's van camping video. And that muffin was damn good. So, I think these pancakes are good. They still do pancakes at McDonald's. I don't even know. I ain't had them there for years. Uh, I think that's done. That actually smells legit like a pancake. Get that one in. Oh yeah, they're softened up a bit. Uh, yeah, these are already cooked, but uh, all we're doing is just heating them back up again. Yeah, I think that'll do. Let's get that on there. Turn that off. Alright, that's got all dramatic. Pour over the syrup. Oh yeah. Lovely. There's actually quite a bit of syrup in there. Mm. That looks good. Yep. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> syrup actually tastes pretty decent. Well, campers, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. And I think it's going to be me. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That syrup is good. Pancakes. It's hard to taste. <laughs> so much syrup on that top one. Okay. Pancakes are light and fluffy. A little bit. A little bit too flowery. But they're not bad at all. They're not bad pancakes. You wouldn't think they were shop bought, really. I make pancakes all the time, and um, yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. No maple syrup. Mm -mm. That is damn good. Mmm. Very Moorish. Mmm. I don't know what the difference is with that maple style syrup instead of maple syrup, but... Tastes damn good to me. Mmm. Yeah, as you start getting into them, they are a little bit dry. But... Still not bad at all. Quick and easy. I know making pancakes is easy, but one less thing to wash up. <laughs> Mixing all them up and making a mess and whatever. Mmm, that was bloody good. And it is actually quite filling as well. Quite a lot of carbs. Well, I think between the pancakes and that muffin last week. The, the Rustler's breakfast stuff is damn good. I would definitely get them again. Yeah, between the, the pancakes and the breakfast muffin, oh, they are good and they're quick and easy and they're cheap as well. Piping hot coffee cooked for my OEX hero. Not too bad, the windows are steamed up. 
it's not too cold. I only got the trainers on and it's um it's bearable. What's the temperature today? Current temperature is nine degrees Celsius. So yeah, unfortunately no sunrise because it's cloudy out there, but yeah, it's all good, all good. Like I say, it is so peaceful in this spot. All you can hear is the birds. And I've got tinnitus. And where we live now, we've lived in our house for two years. It's a busy road out the front, so all I hear is road noise. And my tinnitus ain't really um, bothered me the last couple of years. But because it's so quiet here, I can actually hear the buzzing really bad. I've got it in my right ear bad, so I used to play in bands when I was younger. Any young rock and rollers out there, wear earplugs. Well, it's pretty quiet out here. I just see the person in the car walking around. I think they went for a piss in the bushes over there. But yeah, all quiet on the uh, camping front. Well, it's having a morning stroll. That wasn't a bad spot at all. Apart from that horn I heard beeping about 10 o'clock. I never heard anything after that. So yeah, real good night's sleep. Breakfast was good. Pancakes definitely hit the spot. It's a shame. It's cloudy, we never got to see the sunrise. This is uh, this is pretty decent there. The rivers starting to go out. Just at the end there, you can see Boston. And that's where I part of van. So yeah, I'm gonna. Head off home now. I think that was another successful night stealth camping. We came, we had some good munch, had some alcohol free liquor, had a really good night's sleep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, never got no uh, boy racers turning up or doggers or anything like that knocking on my van. So yeah, definitely call that one a win. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give the video thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these random dogging adventures <laughs> but yeah also follow me Instagram and Facebook the meat manifesto and I'll catch you next Friday for another stealth camping adventure also catch me on a Wednesday where I do some camper van cooking so yeah I think that'll call it a day and I'll catch you all very soon thanks for watching peace See you next week.